burning homes and churches, butchering, beheading, and crucifying Christians. In Mozambique, Heidi Baker lives and works under the constant threat of terror. So why does she stay in the middle of such evil? Take a look. Missionary Heidi Baker has served in Mozambique since 1995. It's one of the poorest countries on the planet. And in recent years, one of the most dangerous. Despite lethal terrorist attacks near her town, Heidi continues to spread the truth of the gospel. I'm telling you, in the midst of the tragedy, God is doing the most incredibly beautiful things. Co-founder of the humanitarian ministry, Iris Global, Heidi plans to keep meeting needs where God has called her. So Heidi, tell us, how did you get to Mozambique in, in the beginning? What, what was the start for you? As a brand new baby believer, a 16 year old, brand new born again believer in Jesus, I was fasting and praying as the church um, was calling me to fast and pray. And on the fifth day of a fast, I had an incredible experience with the Lord where I literally felt like I heard his voice calling me as a minister and a missionary to Africa, Asia, and England. And after being in Asia 12 years with my husband, Roland, in the UK for three years, uh, it was time for Africa. And Africa is this massive continent. And so we were praying again, where in Africa? And Roland said, they're blowing up Red Cross trucks in Mozambique. And immediately I said, perfect. We want to go there. That's where we want to go. Heidi, uh, I've, I've, I look at the danger you're under, and uh, I know for a lot of people, they're saying, can, can we evacuate Heidi out of this? Um, tell us why you want to stay in the middle of some extreme danger. It's, such, it's just such a joy to work with this beautiful, generous, powerful, anointed Mozambican team. And this is a lifelong calling for me. Um, we've been here, we're going on um, 29 years soon. This is the greatest joy of our lives um, to be here for such a time as this. There's nowhere in the world that we'd rather be than here in Northern Mozambique with the people who have adopted us. For people watching right now, what can we do to help you? What can we do to help the refugees from Northern Mozambique? Well, uh, we're feeding over 32,000 um, people a meal a day. Uh, so food aid is always a massive blessing for us, but always um, audio solar Bibles for the people to receive an audio Bible in their own local dialect. So if you can imagine, we're going out teams of 30 to 50 of us, 99% national Mozambicans, we're going to the camps, um, the internally displaced people camps, we're going to the communities, uh, literally where people have lost everything. We're bringing them not only food aid and farming kits, but we're bringing the, the word of God in their local dialect. So to be able to continue with that is a joy. The other thing is I want you all in America to learn from the Mozambican body of Christ. They are the most extraordinary people I've ever seen in terms of courage and generosity. Our pastors who have even had their own, one of our pastors, a four and a half year old child of his was, was, was beheaded. And another one lost their home. Uh, six churches burned to the ground. The, the way these men and women live, the first thing they do when others come is they say, welcome and they just put them in their yards and they just share their food with the hungry. And they really are uh, examples for those in other parts of the world that maybe are afraid of the shaking times that are going on in the world and the shaking that's even about to increase in the world. 
And what Mozambicanos can teach you, what Mozambicans can teach you, and this is my prayer, is that, that you can fix your eyes on Jesus. Uh, last question, how can people pray for you? Pray that we would just grow even closer to Jesus. Pray with our Mozambican brothers and sisters that we would finish well. And um, they knew that I was going to do this program and they asked for, for me to ask you to pray that they would have courage and that all of us would, would finish well, that we would bring glory to the Lord with our little lives laid down for his sake. He is worthy of it all. Heidi, thank you. Thank you for all you're doing. And I, I love the, your, your attitude. God is doing beautiful things. Thank you for what you're doing. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. <laughs> 